Okay, so here's the email I received from DigitalOcean, and as you can see, it tells me that I have a droplet name, the IP address, the root, and the password. So the things that I need from here is the IP address and the password. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna we're gonna just log in for the first time to that terminal, <clears throat> and the way you do that is um, by using SSH, which is uh, what's called a secure shell. And um, it's already um, included in Max. Um, I, like I said, um, you know, many times I, I'm not a a Windows um, expert, so you need to like look up at how how to get SSH up and running on on your Windows machine. But um, you know, if you do like a simple Google search, you should be able to to see that. But in any case, let's uh, copy um, this IP address, and so we're gonna do the following: SSH root at the IP and before you press enter um, you should uh, copy and paste the password because this is kind of like a, a the one-time password that you're gonna use to log into your machine so we're right there uh, press enter it'll say that the authenticity of that host is, is not established because this is the first time that that you're um, logging to your machine so that will go away once you once you accept the first time so you just type yes here and you paste the password that you received from DigitalOcean. And voila, this is the first time that we are connected to our actual like cloud server. You're going to get some like uh, statistics here, memory usage processes, um, etc. And um, so you're going to have to paste again the current Unix password because you're going to have to create a new one. So I'll, I'll paste that and then create a new password that you're that it's you know pretty secure and that you'll remember and enter it again and we're in our machine so this is actually we're on the on the on the digital ocean droplet and as you can see we're uh, logged in as user root <clears throat> however we never ever ever log in using root to a public server because there's many dangers of doing that so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a user that's going to be um, your personal user. So I highly recommend that you use something like uh, your initial first name and then your last name <coughs> or just your first name. Um, but it should be like you and that user we're going to then power to to be able to uh, convert or upgrade to root after you log in. Uh, so we never want to be able to uh, log, in, log in as root in, in any server. So how do we add a new user? So you use this following, add user, and then you can do like J Escobar, like my first name, initial, uh, last name, Jorge Escobar, J Escobar. Um, I use, typically use Jorge because I'm the only one that's going to use that, that server, so um, Jorge is good enough. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to... Um, just use that and um, so in in that creating that user we're gonna have to also create a, a, a password so I'm gonna enter a password that I remember and that I can always use and um, so now we're gonna use uh, we're gonna have the full name uh, typed in and uh, there's room number work phone you don't need to fill this out um, so there you go now we have a user and um, basically now we need to give this user the the uh, cap capability of becoming root um, and then we can just like not use the, the the root anymore so the way that we do that is um, <clears throat> we're gonna use the um, the command G password and we're gonna use um, we're going to add this user that that we're going to be uh, that we just created. So we do the following G password. And then we do dash a uh, Jorge or whatever the username you use and then sudo. <clears throat> and then from that point on, the user Jorge can become a super user and um, and he, he can do uh, the anything that you need user access for. You shouldn't use uh, root for for many things. Mainly, it's to do like start stop services or look at uh, certain like server directories. 
but for many or majority of this stuff, you should be using your own your your own user. So, for example, when we create our virtual environment here, uh, we should do it with the with the uh, Jorge user as the owner uh, versus using a, a kind of like putting everything under root. So the next step is going to be uh, creating a, uh, a public key um, and a private key that will allow us to uh, log into the, to the server without typing any password. So we'll see how that goes. 